The semi-finals, the first match, of course, Kyron Wilson against Si Jai Wee. Kyron, a former champion in this event, Si appearing in his second ranking semi-final, having gone to the Crucible last four, last season, of course. And Kyron Wilson starting superbly with a break of 97, having missed a black early in that opening frame. Looking to build on that, but very early stages of this second frame. It's now the best of 11, of course, the first of six to go through to the final tomorrow, the title match and a meeting with either Judd Trump or Sam Craigie. And they do battle this evening from seven o'clock UK time. Just about room for the red. For C, who's looking for his first win over Kyron Wilson in this, their fifth meeting. C, who, of course, dodged a bullet in qualifying for this tournament. He was four down with five to play against Liu Haoshan, but then reeled off five in a row, allowing Liu only 58 points in those last five frames, including a couple of centuries, and he's not looked back. Since then, he's beaten Mark Joyce, 5-1, Alfie Davis, 5-1, Yuan Sejun, 5-3, and then last Eight. yesterday, I should say, Ryan Day by five frames to one. He had a slight scare at the back end of that match because Ryan needed a snooker and C went in off and Day had the chance to punish for 4-2, but it wasn't to be. Nine. He was devastating at the Crucible on his way to that semi-final and very nearly, of course, the final 14-5 up on Luca Brussel before the mother of all comebacks in Sheffield. But his long potting, his break building was fantastic. Now, uh, looks as though that's gone wrong. 14. Yeah, Kubel stuck in the, in the bunch of reds. I suppose the question is, of course, we'll never know the answer to, could he have beaten Mark Selby in the final? Or was he just running out of steam a little bit? Hence the reason he threw away that nine-frame advantage. There was a green in the, the end of the third session, towards the end, from its spot which he missed, where he got really annoyed about it, banged the table. And the, kind of the wheel fell off after that. But he was, I think that one shot, when he was clearing up to win another frame, just a green into his own spot, keep all relatively behind it. And things turned on its head and you wouldn't think in a 33 frame match you could remember one shot but most people would remember that same particular shot on the green anyhow it's taken him a while to regroup he hasn't had the best of seasons but the talent is there of that we know it didn't sound great did it, it sound like he'd some it Okay. Something was hit with the cue, but it might be CJ just the cue was hitting the spider. But the kind of noise it's made when a the cue hits a ball. I'm not suggesting for one second that's what happened because no foul was called. It didn't sound quite right. Hang on. Wow, we've seen one or two of those in recent times. Oh, what an extraordinary fluke to get. I mean, that is a humongous fluke, isn't it? I think one or two of the audience were clapping what they thought was a successful double here from Kyron Wilson. In the end it was, but not in the orthodox fashion. But the red just snaked along the cushion. It isn't as bad as it first looks. Got a red, perhaps up into that top left pocket. Eight. Just queuing over the black doesn't make it easy, though. This fluke might end up significant if he scores from it, and CJ we will have stored it. He knows about it. He won't forget it in a hurry, that fluke. It was a spectacular one. Again, over a ball. I 
I think Wilson feels that he's been playing pretty well this season. He just hasn't quite got the results to go with some decent 16. form. He's had some pretty difficult losses to swallow, not least that one at the UK Championship when he was four up with five to play against Jamie Clark and lost. 17. I don't think he meant to be quite this close to the black, but even then the angle is all right. Had a terrific scrap with Judd Trump at the Masters and seemed to be on his way to victory. It's a bit unlucky to leave Trump a space for him to conjure Wonderful. an excellent break to deny him in the decider there. So he's had a few knocks this season, but he is very tough between the ears, Kyron Wilson. It's one of his great assets. He's Terrific competitor. Works very hard, as we know. One to five. Away from the match table to maximise his potential. And it's all come together for him so far this week. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. He's moved himself up from thirty-five on the one-year list with his performances thus far to twenty-nine. If he were to go on to win the tournament this weekend, then He'd be in the Players' Championship. But that's not quite gone as he'd hoped. No, but he has the backup raid up the table, which is coming in handy. Yes, because any of the three players, aside from Judd Trump, is right at the top of that list. Should they win, they would be in the 32, wouldn't they? Craigie, CJ, we, Karen, they're all in the same boat. There is another tournament to go. Event, so... There's a, a last opportunity to get in the event. If those three won it, they would just about be guaranteed playing Telford in the players. Anyway, today is all about this German Masters and the chance to be in the final. Yeah, it's a measure of Trump's dominance so far this season, and he's wrapped up that £150,000 European bonus with a tournament to spare. Again, it's gone wrong. Yeah, but he can't really say, well, I'm unlucky there. After getting an absolute monster fluke at the start. 47. It just could be the fluke is not one in the frame. Got a good lead though, and we know that 32 Wilson, points. But where the balls are, one CGL we pot, and a chance to get in would almost make him favourite in the frame. I'm not saying the pot is about to happen here. Karen Wilson will rec recognise some danger in this situation. The balls are a little bit too friendly, I think, where they're placed with a possible counter attack. That's not the perfect safety shot. Now, CJ Oi was not in at the crucible, and he has been this week, but this is a an important one early in this match.
I think he's going to have to play it it's quite straight. Offers plenty in the way of value. get the fluke he didn't fancy it for some reason I was surprised I thought it'd be right up his street that shot but he shook his head a few times looked at other options but surely the only shot he had was to go for the red it's the kind of pot he barely missed on his way to the semi-finals at the world championship his long game was devastating but what a chance Kyron Wilson now has already 32 to the good 75 left, but the Reds out in the open to double his lead. Yeah. He'd be very disappointed if he didn't take care of the frame at this visit. Obviously, the problem is that they both had was the black didn't pop to the right corner. That maybe was the reason that Sejo was not pleased with the shot. Had the black been potable to the right corner, he probably would have taken it immediately. Seven. Eight. Eleven. So another frame looks to be on the board if this goes in, and I would be surprised if he missed it. Sixteen. Good start for Kyron. form he's been in this week it's been pretty noticeable just the way he's been getting through these matches breezing through CJ we was probably going to be the biggest threat he still is I'd say because he's been doing well playing some terrific stuff because he was 4-0 down in the qualifying for this pre-Christmas but 1-5-4 so maybe he felt up for none but this is uh, not the start he was hoping for tonight today rather Wilson misses with the rest, but it's academic. Cijar, we knows there's not enough points there to come back into frame two. It's an eighth consecutive frame now for Wilson here at the Temple Drum this week. Great start for the former champion. He leads Cijar Wee by two frames to nil. Straight close to the side cushion into the left corner. So two nil, six the target. Micah Kessler having a look. In this, their fifth meeting, Wilson has won the previous four, looking for a second German Masters title. A six in all, and a fourth here in Germany. Most recently, of course, he was successful at the European Masters in the early stages of last season when he beat Barry Hawkins in Firth. Ball. Playing away from the 
red is he was touching. I just want to keep things very tight. Now that he's picked the first two frames up, Kyron Wilson, he won't be looking to present anything to him. Well, he had no control over where the red was going to go that he missed. I think he felt that nothing else would, could be left. But thankfully for Si Jiawi, the uh, red went, has gone safe. Well, he's pretty reliable on those sort of shots, especially at the moment. And uh, yeah, it was evident, I think, earlier in the season that his, his form wasn't really there. Can't just turn it on like a tap at this game. But when it does come, and it seems that it has, you, you've got to fill his boots and try and make the best of it. Especially someone oh. like Kyron who would have looked forward to coming here. As we've spoken <coughs> enough about it, but his record is so good in Germany. I bet you this event has been quite high on his list of things to do, places to be. Five. And he's well equipped to deal with a pretty pulsating atmosphere. In the temper drum, it's superb. But he's been there before and done it. Now the question of which red he'll be playing on from his next colour, probably the blue. The pink's above the red, so it wouldn't be an easy shot to go from blue into the bunch with the pink's almost protecting them. So which 11. red would he play? I mean, he into the pink full on. But if he doesn't catch it square, you're off at an angle. I think that's very good, very good contact. Has he left himself on something? 16. Judging by that expression, he hasn't. That's where a bit of luck comes into play. He had some early in the second frame when he fluked the red off the jaw of the centre pocket. Couldn't have hit those any better. Smack on the nose of the pink. May only have a plant here. <laughs> Strange shot, wasn't it? He played him. Mean, he must Harry have Wilson, 16. seeing that again. All I can think of is he must have played to hit it off the cushion and in off the red, but he got nowhere near with that. Here's a shot now. What did he try here? They couldn't play the, the plant, so he obviously tried to sort of squeeze the red behind the other one, in off it, into the same pocket, but he made a bit of a mess of it, quite honestly. Well, 
Obviously, we see so many players switching hands these days. It looks like CGOE wants to play this shot left-handed. But it's a tricky little shot to get the cue ball out of there onto a colour. Chop. He's not been seriously threatened since arriving in Berlin after that extraordinary in qualifying against Lu Hao Shan when he was four down with five to play. Yuan Sejun pushed him closest, 5-3. Last night, 5-1 over Ryan Day. Well, he's played the first two shots of this break left-handed. Three. The cue ball needs to be under control here. He wanted to fly up into the bulk area. Easy to slow down. That's fine. He really could do with this frame. He needs a, to make an impression here, given he hasn't had that many chances. Kyron has kept him fairly quiet. Well, there was a gap, and uh, he's now... Found it somehow. Seven. He didn't really play on anything specifically, I don't think. He just tried to hit reds, but he hit nothing. Well, he got a nice little flick on the yellow ball, which helped because uh, that is the reason he not left that red on. An anxious look from Kyron as he yeah, whether he'd covered that red closest to the right corner. I don't think he may have done. Yeah, there's no pot on there. It's all a bit congested amongst those three reds down the side of the table. Is he going to play the plant? It looks uh, tough, I think. Going to play the middle red, I think, onto the other one, but he's, this could easily go wrong. Very good. I mean, I'll be honest, the standard of some of the plants you see played nowadays, I saw Sam Craigie put a terrific one last night. Sometimes reds a foot apart, not in line to the pocket, doesn't seem to phase anybody. This time it was the cue ball that was a long way from the first red, which made it more difficult. Still went in. Let's see, first term pro via the Q school order of merit back in 2019. He did slip off the tour a couple of years later. But then won the WSF Championship to return. Six. Reached the last eight of the European Masters season and then, of course, that extraordinary run at the Crucible when he beat Sean Murphy, who'd been in in a classic first-round match that went all the way. Rob Milkins. <coughs> convincingly. And then a thriller with Anthony McGill before that. Extraordinary against Luca Brussel. 
from just three frames from victory at 14-5. Well, there's one thing these two have in common, isn't it? That uh, they've beaten Anthony McGill in a very close, very soul-destroying defeat for the person on the receiving end at the Crucible. 13-12 uh, against McGill and, of course, the Chiron win against McGill. Well, I think we need about half an hour to talk through that one. All the things happened in that last frame. It's a big one, especially if reds go to the right corner. Nothing in it in the frame. Seven. The ball's not necessarily that easy to make a significant break from. Oh dear. Well, there's a miss he could do without. CJ, he who's hasn't seven. really settled yet. Surprisingly, miss this one. The way he pots in general. See, Shai Wee has missed six balls already this afternoon. His highest break just 14. He has had one or two chances, but so far nothing doing. Well, that was uh, overcut by a margin, though, by Karen Wilson. It wasn't easy, but he didn't get close. Yeah, both missing not dissimilar shots there. This one probably more difficult, more of a cutback than the one that CJOE missed, but they overcut them both. Bad. I think there might be a gap through past the green. Huge crowd in here, here in Berlin. And the final will be no different tomorrow. In the second semi final tonight, the Judd Trump playing Sam Craigie, guaranteed to be full. Can actually hold up to three and a half thousand people this venue. Just got a bit edgy, hasn't it? The yeah, big frame for them both, especially for CJOE. Play a direct screw back. Got Q power he's going to have to show here. Oh dear, that's not good. That is not good. He hit it off straight, and the cue ball doesn't come directly back down the table that way. It's a bit of a nervy start, for sure, that he's made it to this match. That is a good Excuse shot, me. though. Yeah. Second prize, because he'd much rather still be at the table. Ball. So 
So touching ball, he can play away, and he'd like to get in behind the pink and yellow again. The fact that he hasn't got a hit of red at all. Great shot because he's left Kyron a red that he feels is a shot to nothing here. On top of the little cluster of a few reds, red to the left corner, there's five reds. Shouldn't really have been left that from where CGO was with the, the touching ball. this time however I mean, he kind of went for the pot but he knew the cube was possible to steer it around into a position of strength for him Oh, miss. Well, I suspect it will go back either way. I don't foresee much damage being done when he eventually hits it. It's just a question of how many points he, he takes to do so. He's got the line of the shot, and if he hits it at a little bit more pace, but not too much more, then he'll yep. have completed the uh, escape. Is this hard enough? No. Well, let me see. You never know, these Did few points four? might be significant towards the end of this frame. Same again, isn't it? Well, this Didn't reach. I must say, got a little bit closer to reaching than I first thought, but either way, still four away. This is attempt number four coming up. See, it was probably a couple of millimetres away from hitting at the end. Maybe a bit more than that. This is played with more pace, anyhow. Does this red go? It looks. Wilson, you could tell, was a bit concerned that he'd overcooked the escape this time, and he was right to be. But can see get on a colour. Yeah, I mean, it might explain why Kyron was playing it so gently, because he was worried about pushing a ball on, in fairness. And uh, it only just passed the other red. of the pot and also just skin the cue ball around the angles if he takes on the yellow or the pink 
Blue is more of a straightforward positional shot, maybe a more slightly more difficult pot reaching across. Just looking for something to settle himself into this. It's been a slightly indifferent start from Si Jai Wee. A number of potting mistakes, but if he can just get this frame on the board, even though it's not pretty, it doesn't matter. We'll just feel part of the semi final. He's looking to break new ground in more ways than one, of course, today. His first final appearance. And in the process, first win over Kyron Wilson in five attempts. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yes, absolutely. He needs to win this frame, all right. And uh, those which have helped him, it means he needs slightly fewer reds from this point on. And he'd be 44 in front when this is potted. Just needs another red. So the point did kind of help him. When you think that the other two reds are in relatively safe places, which he doesn't now require. 27. This is his highest break so far. Looks like it's going to be a clinching one. Every shot being cheered by this crowd, they're living every moment. Absolutely love their snooker here. And the players love demonstrating their skills in front of them. And this frame should now be well and truly Cijai Wees. Both players have made a few mistakes in this one. But C needed it just to settle those semi final nerves. Hui, 34. So 51 the difference. Karen Wilson needs a couple of snookers to tie. Whatever happened there, it wasn't what Kyron Wilson had in mind, and he's duly conceded. Cijai Wee gets himself involved in our first German Masters semi final and halves the deficit. Kyron Wilson now leading by two frames to one, with six the target for a place in the final and a meeting with either Judd Trump or Sam Craigie. Kyron Wilson two, Cijai Wee one. Kyron Wilson Still starting with a break of 97, adding a 47 Rainfall. in the second. Cijai Wee's best contribution, just 34 so far, but that helped him over the line in frame three. So 2-1. This is the last frame before the interval. Six is the number required for a place in the final tomorrow. Tonight, it's Judd Trump going for a hat-trick of German Masters titles this weekend. That's never been done before since this tournament got underway in 2011. Standing in his way, Sam Craigie playing in his first ever ranking semi-final after a great performance last night over the defending champion Ali Carter, whom he beat five frames to one. So a big occasion for him this evening. It's a big occasion for all four because this is such a wonderful place to play snooker, particularly when it's just the one table. 
Real hairs on the back of the neck standing up stuff for these two matches. And of course tomorrow we go to the best of 19 over two sessions, the first to 10 to be crowned champion. Be careful if he plays off the bunch here that he doesn't push anything close to a pocket. Playing as thin a contact as he thinks he can make, I would say. Red has come out. Have to be a little careful on that shot on these quick cloths. Balls can go right over the hole. Not careful. And CGOE, when he's right, does put a lot of long balls. Quite going in yet, and he's left a red to the middle. One. So the first player in, in this fourth frame, potentially a very significant frame, is Kyron Wilson with a, an opportunity. I think the bottom red of the cluster will pop. Got the red to middle oh. as a backup. Played that nicely on that bottom red there. Let's say uh, the one he had the option of playing from the previous shot on the green. It's pushing through the bunch here to the black, the opposite corner. Eleven. Very nice. Could be away here. Good chance. Nineteen. with the bunch I'm not sure what goes if anything <coughs> you know you are chancing your arm playing that shot make good contact though as you see the cue ball didn't veer off any of the cushion or anything he stayed in the center of the table but I don't quite see where his next red might be coming from He's gonna have to play safe Decent safety shot at that. Just the thinner 
That's the thinnest of edges available here. Oh, goodness. You hit too much of it. Maybe not very costly, but as you can see it here, he had to hit a very thin edge and uh, came very close to that right corner. Has to be careful to avoid hitting something on the way back up here. Oh, he hasn't made it. He has not done so. But again, it may not have been so bad because it's a tough queuing over the top of the yellow for that redded light to play <coughs> just below the blue ball. The car and forced into the safety shots. Cube will round in behind Green and Brown. remember exactly how many of those he potted at the crucible into that right corner, but there were a lot of them. Oh, Just like that. Now he can lay the snooker. <laughs> Not the best table with the black and the red tied up on the right. So even a chance wouldn't guarantee CGL we won the frame. Nice pot though. Pace that shot, and he hasn't quite hit it gently enough to lay on top of the red. So he got some applause for that shot, Kyron Wilson, but it was very hard to think that he could keep it safe, just dropping onto the red. Now, this is a good chance for CGOE, the best probably he's had in the match. 
as you can see, his pot success pretty modest at the moment. That's clearly got to improve, but if he could get out of this mini session at two all, I think he'll be delighted. He hasn't really produced his form as yet. Kyron started very well. Seven. Yeah. Four. So far, CGO, of course, he's going to have to improve on markedly. Fifteen. Twenty one. Well, it's a smattering of applause almost every shot. And some of these are quite easy. Twenty-nine. Things are getting more difficult now. Not a bad shot. He just brought both reds into play. Forty-one. Forty-two. We can move the red out, I think, here. He's got to try and get the red and the black out. Got no choice. Needs the red to bounce away from the cushion. That's nicely done. And, well, the crowd... They've clapped almost every shot in this break, even basic shots, so we're always going to be appreciative of that one. But as you can see, the other two reds are very much required. CJ Wee's not really had a chance to do anything with those yet. Well, they're a plant of any kind along the cushion. Land here. Well, it's good effort. It was hard to get the cannon on the two reds. A bit across to the right, perhaps too far. So he's made a handy 54. break. 54 highest to the match, but he hasn't clinched the frame from it. Very well crafted, not quite a frame winner. But by a distance, his best contribution of this semi-final so far, but still in the balance. Thirty-one the lead, forty-three there. No 
And that is a shot that's worthy of a little smashing of applause because I think he's covered the two reds. Yeah, there's not much room there. Micah Kessler having a look down the line of the shot because she might have to make a replacement. That's the reason she's doing that. Keeble might have to go back there if uh, there's a miss from this shot, which there could be. Playing the two cushion glance. Yeah. Foul. Whether he takes it or not is another matter because it's frame ball at this range, and this is the kind of range, as I say, when he's right, he just knocks these in for fun. <coughs> See, Joey, whether he's quite in that form today, yeah, I don't know, but he's going to have to play it. Yes, those six penalty points were important. It meant C could completely concentrate on the red. And it looks as though he's going to emerge from this little mini session level pegging, and he'll be certainly the happier of the pair about that. Karen Wilson has looked the stronger. Made a break of 97 in the opening frame. C looked a bit nervous. No break to speak of, really, before this frame, but... He dug out the previous one, helped by some more penalty points. And barring something remarkable, he's going to win this one as well. And that absolutely settles it. So, we'll start again after the interval. It's going to be a best of seven from here for a place in the final. See, Jai Weir's got to get over that mental hurdle of not having beaten Wilson before. Ten. Four previous attempts. Twelve. Delighted, I'm sure, though, after the crushing disappointment of what happened at the Crucible in the end, to be back contending for a title again. Fifteen. And there are signs that his confidence is beginning to build. Nineteen. Fifty-four break was... Well taken, it wasn't straightforward. 24. Yeah, I, I agree. I think he, he did well to make that break and he's done well here. So this is the best he's played so far. 30. Nicely done by C. Jaoui. He's very much arrived in this semi-final after a slightly sticky start. Kyron Wilson asked the early questions, including that break of 97 in the opening frame, but C.J. Weir's responded well, and so it's as you were. All to play for in the second half of the match. It's two frames each. We have to play for here, a two-all. Nehmen Sie bitte Ihre Plätze ein. Thank you. Here we go then. Frame five. The second half of Cijou the first semi final break. here at the German Masters. See Joe Wee breaking off in frame five. Two frames apiece. Their fifth meeting. Karen Wilson has won the previous four. Three of those have been pretty emphatic. 4 1 at the Gibraltar Open in 2020. 5 2 on his way to the European Masters title in August of 2022. And a whitewash victory at this season's European Masters. Well, that was uh, not without risk, that shot. He could have left the red that he played, and obviously he has left a cutback red to the opposite corner, but I suppose he felt that he would get it beyond the black. He's not interested in that red on the black spot. Playing the red to middle. I suppose he is going into the bunch from it, I understand. Needs to get this one, though, because I think he'd get the other red. Very good shot. In fact, really well played, actually. We get out of bulk comfortably. Definitely signs in those third and fourth frames that C was beginning, beginning to settle into this match. He looked quite nervy and tentative early on but beginning to show some of that snooker that got him to the crucible semi-finals
Yeah, I mean, he's got a fairly simple cue action, which is it's not a bad thing, trust me, to be able to do a cue action that's not got anything complicated or any, a lot of trigger movements going on in it. Bottom line is he does get through oh. the ball well, and that is really everything at this game. He'd like to get the red off the black spot, the one just above the black where it's currently situated. He's playing on. It's a good shot to play on that one. Nine. Ten. Seventeen. So this immediately looks better than what we saw earlier. He kind of found a way of getting to two each without ever playing anywhere near his best. That's a nice shot. That's very well controlled, screwing off that bunch without screwing across to the left cushion, which is easy to do on that shot. himself top side of the blue but where is the next red coming from he's got to drop it in and finish short on that left down red because nothing else from that right side appears to be on securing down the ball to hold the cue ball I think instead it's okay, although it's not an easy shot that he's left with, actually. Nine. Can he reach it? Because he seems to go quite to quite great lengths not to use the rest. I mean, he's played a few left-handed shots. He stretches on others, but this looks to me not reachable without the extension on. I don't know if he's not very proficient with the rest. I'd be surprised if he, if he wasn't. I don't think of anything that happened at the Crucible. In that brilliant run that made me think he wasn't any good, but he, he's stretching here to avoid it. Okay. Unfortunate to push the red in the way of the black, I think. Unless he's gone far enough for he can pop the black. Yeah, he can, or he can get through all right. A little bit of a different match now to early on when he was scratching around a bit. Most definitely, yeah. Seven. There's been a shift in momentum. See, so he's playing a lot better now. Perhaps Karen Wilson has 48. lost his way a little after those first two frames when he looked much the stronger of the two. Fifty-six. Yes, he's never really been in prime position in this break. You know, he started off okay, red to middle, and the black was black spot was never quite free for a long period of time. But a bit like that break he made to level at two, all that fifty-four break, it was good without 
and have been perfect positionally, just kept potting. Sort of a, almost a Judd Trump style break, and this, I think, is quite similar in that regard. Not perfect cue ball control, but he's still potting them. He's, he's extremely talented, isn't he? I mean, he hits the ball so nicely. 71. The cue ball just zipped around the angles there. Now the left-handed shot. Frames all he won. Looking at a different ball game. 72. Karen Wilson looking just a little concerned now. This is going to be three frames on the spin for his opponent. And not just that, the way in which C is now. This is reminiscent of what we 79. saw in Sheffield at the end of last season. 80. His best run this season before arriving here in Berlin was actually in the shootout for Si Jai Wee. Made the quarterfinals. We mentioned that extraordinary match that he had with Kyron in the one frame 18. format. So nothing particularly special since what happened at the Crucible until this week. And of course it very nearly ended at the first hurdle in qualifying against Liu Hao Shan. Potentially one of those snooker sliding doors moments if he goes on to lift the Brandon Parker trophy Number tomorrow. Six. Four down with five to play in the very first round. And now a century. Yeah, and really well appreciated. It's been a terrific break. Yeah, I mean, four nil down in the qualifiers four. just pre Christmas. You're not going to Berlin, are you? At 4 0 down, when you go for your 15 minutes, you're just trying to get a frame back. It was against uh, Liu Hu Shan, fellow Chinese player, good player. So he's done a miracle to win that match, and now he's uh, reaping the rewards. The break might end here because of his uh, awkward cube all over the top of the blue, but I don't think it matters either way. The crowd would love to see a break of 138 if he cleared. Well, they're just loving life being here, seems to me. Great atmosphere in here. And there's a lot of snooker to be played in this match still. Oh, left in as well. How about that for a shot with the spider? get a stand innovation if he clears up <laughs> such is the uh, appreciation of the skills of the players here. 131 what a fantastic break brilliant stuff a 138 total clearance from Xi Jiawei, his 48th career, his fourth of the week. And he now, from 2-0 behind, is leading the former German Masters champion, Kyron Wilson, by three frames to two. Thank you. So a three-frame burst from a revitalised Xi Jiawei, superb 138 break just now to lead Karen Wilson from 2-0 behind by three frames to two, but still a long way to go. First to six for a place in the final tomorrow. Judd Trump and Sam Craigie coming up tonight from 7 o'clock UK time. Very appreciative of the crowds here in, in Berlin when uh, 
There's a good shot played, but there's a, a wonderful hush when uh, the tension ramps up or when someone's on a shot. You're going for this, queuing down on the ball. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic, and that is what he does. So we're seeing some of that form that we saw at Sheffield, which came up from nowhere. Don't forget, he was a qualifier. He could have been the youngest ever world champion had he won. And he had one foot in the final, nine frames up. Whether he'd have beaten Mark Selby, of course, we'll never know. Luca Bussell, who came back from nine frames down, did so. It also shows the value of a scrappy frame, doesn't it, that you fall over the line in. The third one could have gone either way. At that stage, C was struggling a bit, but he just about managed to piece together enough points to win it. And since then, he's been a different player. Yeah, he can be hard to hold. I think he's in that Six. mindset now. Look at what we saw from Sam Craigie last night. And really, this is what the game needs, you know, a 21-year-old coming through we have to see more youth in the game we need almost a luke littler who of course is a tremendous darts player who got the final of the world championship at age 16. now snooker has got Seven. great champions but we do need more young players coming through and uh cj we at 21 could be that man They've always been talented young players, but the actual breakthrough is what's key. But the rest of it is just doesn't mean anything until the results come. Twelve. Red to middle, black goes to the left corner. One stage, C's potting success was down in the mid 60s, but now he's propelled himself into the 90s. Karen Wilson's been going in the opposite direction. He's now at 87. That's okay. Didn't pot the black cleanly, but shifted two reds away from the one he wants to play. One two. You want. It's all falling into place right now. You see, Joey. For a young man, he had a certain swagger about him, didn't he? During that sensational run at the Crucible, he didn't look remotely phased by reputation. Played a lot of top class 26. players. Sean Murphy had been in great form. Anthony McGill, who's got a fine pedigree in Sheffield. 27. And for three sessions was bossing Luca Brussel. And there's just signs of that kind of approach again this afternoon in the last three and a half frames. Looking like a man who expects to win. He's really unlucky there if he's not on an easier red than that one to middle because look how he played this. The key ball fizzed out and back into the bunch, which is usually a good sign. But this red's quite an acute angle to middle. Not much pocket to aim at from here. Really good. Very good once again. And I thought he just rolled it in, but he hit it quite firmly. Better shot than it looked. It's one of the few shots that didn't get any applause, but it was uh, played almost to perfection with topspin off the green. Thirteen nine. Well, we've been sort of suggesting the final, but most likely permutation is Karen Wilson, Judd Trump, those old foes from 
going back to the junior days, but I mean, of course, it could be that that man won't be in the form. It could be CGOE and it could be Sam Craigie. It would be a tremendous occasion if it was. I'm not saying he'll beat Judd Trump, but uh, yeah, that would be a kind of a shot in the arm, I think, for the game. Well, this is a guilt edge chance now, which CJ Weir has created to win his fourth frame in a row, and this must be a little bit scary for Karen Wilson. 52. He's only scored 40 points 53. since he took a 2 0 lead. Yes, he's not part of the ball since a long way before the mid-session interval as well. 60. The crowd is always alive to the situation in the frame. They know that was frame ball. The red to make sure and He's absolutely flying now, CJ We Racing around the table, suddenly everything looks easy. The long pots have started to go in. Very aggressive in his approach. A little bit intimidating. Seven he plays six. like this. Seven to seven. Well, in excess of 300 points without reply now for C. Jai Wee. Karen Wilson has been completely frozen out since he had a modest lead in frame four. Well, that's right, isn't it? He was 24 points in the nil up in that frame. Hey, Wolf 91-24, 138 from C in the last frame, and now this. So he is completely cold and helpless in that chair, which is the game. You can't do anything when your opponent is knocking them all in. Whether he knocks one in here remains to be seen. I'm not sure what he can actually get to. He is an incredible long potter, but this one is going to test him. Tremendous stuff this from CJ Wee. It's been a real blitz, and Kara Wilson looking a little shell shocked as he. Heads for a bathroom break just to try and regroup because C has put four on the bounce together now, including breaks of 138 and 90 just now to lead by four frames to two. C. Jai Wee has taken a firm grip on our first German Master semi final with some of the snooker that harks back to his crucible semi final run. Two outstanding breaks of 138, total clearance and 90 just now to go with the 54 that he made in the fourth frame. Well over 300 points without reply. Kyron Wilson, not surprisingly, heading off for a bathroom break and perhaps just to gather his thoughts because he's been hit by a bit of a runaway train since he led 2-0. Still plenty of time to come back, of course, but CJ Wee is playing some fantastic snooker and thoroughly merits his 4-2 lead. Can he keep going? Seven. Six, of course. To break. It's the magic number for a place in Sunday's final. Judd Trump and Sam Craigie coming up tonight from 7 o'clock UK time. Many Kara Wilson fans in the house, but that one rather more vocal than others. And it's brought a smile to Kyron's face for the first time since frame two, I think. He's looked a little glum in his chair. He's been completely outplayed in the last four frames. Well, certainly the last couple anyway. Frames three and four were 
certainly frame three, a little scrappy. And it was a vital one, actually, that Si Jiawei won because at that stage he was rock rocking and Wilson was threatening to perhaps run away with it. But that certainly hasn't happened. He's not had many shots of late, has he, Neil? So those no. kind of attempted pots are that much more difficult. Well, that's very similar to two frames ago when he went for this same shot, missed it the same way. And that was his only shot because on that, CGOE knocked in the break 138. And almost the identical break and follow up shot. He pulled it around to left middle. It's slightly difficult, a uh, different shot to this one. This is more difficult, I think, if he plays it. But there's a lot of unanswered points here. Three hundred and nineteen points unanswered, though it might be about to come to an end. So Kyron Wilson finally something to go at. It's early in frame four, last part of the ball. Here we are in frame seven. That was a very difficult red, but C unsurprisingly backed himself to get it, given the way he's queued in the last few frames. This time though, no joy. Now, what can Wilson do with this opportunity to re-establish himself in the semi-final? Fairly straight on this black. Almost <coughs> dead straight, in fact, just a very slight angle. I don't know if he could do anything with the two reds above it. It looks a little straight for that. Just try and bring them into play. Hmm. Well, he is on the red, but again, Cubald is edging into the bunch slightly in potting it, so he doesn't know yeah, for sure where anything's going to finish. If you're not into the bunch, into the reds directly above the black, so positionally it's not a straightforward shot he's playing here. know sometimes where the balls are going to finish and you charge your arm. Twelve. And now he's in a bit of a scrape. What does he do? So the only good news green is that the red didn't go up the table. Sorry, green ball. If a red had gone up towards Bolt, then he'd had no shot. Now he's nominated green, which he might well hit. Sort of shot. You want it put 12. back very much. If he has his put back, it might be an error. Because Kyron could roll up behind it. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure. Kyron could play this well, roll up behind the green, and then he snookered, see, shall we? Then he's got to make a very slight adjustment, and that might be the outcome. Green ball. play this time because in the end he will get the shot and he will be end up snookered so he's gonna have to try and knock this in see
must have slightly decelerated there and he spin he had came off the ball because I'm sure he played around the back of the the black and to put it in the same pocket as the the red but the spin that he put on the ball had kind of died off by the time he reached the red so he's not on a colour basically that's the upshot of it very important frame now though isn't it I mean obviously it's the sting has been slightly taken out of the uh, CJ we attack really where he's won four in a row so Kyron really has to win this frame now because of that that's not a good shot had to be steered well clear of that red and blue Who's and ours from all directions at the moment. What a huge frame, as Neil mentioned. This is what a difference between 4 3, Wilson right back in it, 5 2 down, no room to manoeuvre, 3 down with 4 to play. Yeah, of course, he looks across at what he's left. Uh, I think he might have left that red. Yeah, it will go all right. He can reach it. At first, I think Karen might have thought that he'd got away with one there, but sometimes I think where he's sitting at the far end can be a little deceptive. This is a worry because, like I say, it's not been a frame that was similar to the previous ones. But it might go the same way as the previous ones. Because he's all over Karen Wilson last hour or so of play seven a little bit longer even at the moment Karen has no answer to this eight I mean, we know he's had a total That's clearance, him. but I think a situation like this, if you can make 50, that would be a very sizable, meaningful contribution. 14. Through to that red by the pig. Again, not a lot of room to play with, but there's enough. played on the blue there he's over screwed he's hitting the ball almost too well at times timing is up close he's very good uh, saying that this time of course it was almost a heavy contact like a dead white there in contrast to the previous shots He thunders in the next ball as ever. And that was ever so well played. How far can this break go? Can it go to the point of no return for Karen in the frame? Still got a lot of balls to pot for that to happen, but 
He's in a good place right now. His confidence is fully restored. 28. A little subdued at the beginning of this match. Playing on the main table. Incredible ovation both players got. Maybe it was all too much for him, but he's in, in amongst it now, right? And that brief smile that we saw when one of Karen Wilson's most exuberant supporters cried out in support of him at the start of this frame has gone again. Yeah, I mean, it was a, obviously a very avid fan, but there was a hint of desperation in the cry, wasn't there, for Kyron? I think he knew it, because he hadn't potted a ball for 300 points. And he hadn't potted many since either. And he really will have his work cut out if C can now convert this chance. 33 to the good. Well, he wanted to avoid that red, but he had so, such a small amount of it, it's uh, not so bad, although... 41. He'll need a piece of the action of those three reds below the pink, and they're all completely tied up. So there's more to do. on the blue because of course then the pink's in the way of the reds he needs an angle Watch just off here. straight on the pink do you know i think he might be perfect there can he nudge the reds into play or is there slightly too much angle mm. a little straighter would have been better if he drops it in he can just get the bottom red bits lodged i think i think that'll do him we have got to give it his full attention. Four Frame eight. ball again. What a burst this has been from CGL Wee. Not only from 2 nil down, but especially from 2 each, I think. Since the mid-session interval, he's been very, very good. The third frame, he won unconvincingly, but crucially he won it because he was rocking a bit at that stage. He was being outplayed himself. And then he managed to put together that awkward half century on his way to two each. And well, since then, as Neil says, he's not looked back. He's overcut that one, I think. But he's 52 in front with only 43 left. Karen Wilson's gonna come back. He needs three snookers. Cone there because he used all the pocket. And of course, getting on the ping and getting the key in behind there, he's got a cast iron snooker, you feel. What's more important would be where he's going to be able to get the red. If you can get the red up by a bolt colour laying up against it, then the free ball option comes into play. So you, you kind of feel that the snooker is almost guaranteed from here, but the red, he wants that to be close to a colour, the other end. No good, I'm afraid on any count. Wilson, How can seven. you miss the snooker? Trademark CGLE long red, and that's another frame gone. And he was 2 0 up, don't forget Kyron Wilson. And none of these frames have been in any way close since then. It has been oh. a very dramatic about face this match from 2 0. Six. And being outplayed, CGLE has moved into overdrive, and Kyron Wilson at the moment has no answers. Nine. 
And remember, he's on the cusp now of achieving something brand new in his career, a first ranking final. 13. Having spent the past few months perhaps exercising the demons of coming so close 18. to the world final and having it snatched away from a position of seemingly unassailable strength, but it's all part of the learning curve, a steep one in his case, but how well has he played from 2-0 behind? Five frames on the bounce now from CJ Wee, and one away from the title match here in Berlin. Karen Wilson with it all to do, the former champion at the Temple Drum, trailing by five frames to two. DJ Wee about to appear in his first German Masters final, his first ranking title match, or can Karen Wilson produce a twist in the tail and a four-frame burst of his own. It's a long way back from here, but as we know, he will not quit. He is a terrific match player with a great temperament and a great determination to make his opponent earn any win. So he won't give it away, but at the moment, CJ Wee on the crest of a wave. He's just played superbly since trailing 2-0. So I thought you might knock that in as well because he's been knocking so many in. That was probably the most difficult of all the ones he's tried because the key was going to career into the bunch, but Kyron is in first. He needs to do something a bit sharpish. Seven. As usual, it's not the easiest of tables, and of course, say as usual, because when you ten lose a lot of frames and the chance comes there's normally something quite difficult about positioning of the balls and that's the case here black's tied up he's gone a little too far he's not perfect yes he's on the yellow but he's sort of skirting around getting these balls into play I think he'd like the red away from the pink spot so then he can play the pink freely. Thirteen. what I was speaking about is the one he's going to play here and it will open the frame up if you can get the pot and finish nicely on the colour. Too far again so perhaps small value colours continue. You're not really getting away from CGOE in the frame on points. Taking the low value colours. Not a very good shot to hit the pink on the way through, but it's turned out to be okay. Sixteen. OK, 
guess one thing Wilson will be thinking about in his bid to overturn this hefty deficit is the fact that Cijar Wee might be thinking about that Crucible semi-final, having come so close to winning it from a big lead. It's obviously a different situation today, very different number of frames. But three up with four to play. One to two. Will one or two of those bad memories from his match with Brazil resurface if Wilson can put a bit of pressure on by winning this frame? Well, it's not out of the question, is it? Because, you know, he went from everything to nothing in that uh, semi-final studio where he was just scintillating. And sort of what we've seen today for basically for a couple of days in that match and then the wheel fell off, basically. Brazil was good and he was less effective. So you're right, you know, it could turn around again this match, but Kyron's going to have to play up there with his best form if he's going to make it happen. On to nine. Forty. Six. Thirty-seven. Well, I think he's just about to play on the, the last of the reds that were in open play here. And then things are going to be a little bit more complicated. Forty-two. There is a red actually, the four reds, the red directly above the black, will pop to the left corner from behind it. And also, as you can see, that top red on the right, does it go past the other one? I think it might well do. So, because he took the yellow a couple of times early in the break, he hasn't made that many yet. Needs a little bit more. Uh, well. I don't think that's a very good shot, is it? Bottom nine. Oh, that's a terrible shot. You want to do much straighter on the red. I don't even know if he can pot it very easily. He knows it was a poor shot. Lost the cue ball there. And now nothing goes, and it was quite basic to finish on that red above the black. Wilson, 49. So, first break of any substance from Kyron Wilson since he led 2 0, but not a frame winning one. Albeit that at the moment the Reds are awkward for. Counter for Cijar Wee as he goes in behind the green. Not quite a snooker. No, but the uh, the balls are actually becoming slightly easier to pot now. And that's completely against Kyron. That red's been taken off the cushion. He had no choice. He's got a 49 point lead, but he's open to the counter attack. Does he? Because he knows that he's got to keep things very safe from here. 
The break he made was all hard work, balls in awkward spots, black tied up. Now, nothing's really that difficult. It was a very well played safety shot from Kyron Wilson. He's got to avoid the double kiss here on the way back up, using a bit of left hand side to try and avoid it. Well done. That's a good safety shot as well, goodness me. Not something I necessarily associate with CJOE's game, but what a good shot that was. a winnable frame even from 49 behind Wilson could really do with a color glue to a side cushion something to give him some insurance in case C gets in next has to cover that red know that he has get through right so chance for Karen Wilson to stem the tide keep himself in the match Great on a colour. Still 67 on the table. So he's going to need a couple more reds to make the frame safe. Of course, the other thing he could do, he could put a ball on a cushion, perhaps, if he doesn't see a pot. I think he's going to put the brown on the right-hand side cushion here. It makes sense. He's not quite well. achieved it though. I tell you, if he's left that red below the black, that's a poor shot. I've got a feeling that he's left enough of the red out to pop this. The black's almost a guide. I, I reckon this goes. And as I say, the brown is not even safe. So that last shot of Kyron did not achieve its goal. but nothing to go with it. Yeah. I'd be looking to, if I could, to try and just separate the, the green and the pink ball here just because if you think about it, if he does get another chance, they're both tying each other up to that top right pocket. I'm not sure quite how you do it, but I wouldn't want to leave the two balls there if I had a way of moving them. Playing, I think, he nominated to be brown, wasn't it? And that's not the worst shot at all for his play. I think maybe he might be hindered slightly by those two balls being where they are if a clearance is possible. This has got 
badly wrong. He needs help. It's all right. It could have been a lot worse. It was a big misjudgment. The red's gone almost as far as the cue ball. Another big mistake, a double kiss, and this time has not got away with it. No, and to be honest with you, it's, it's not a good shot to, to get the double kiss on. Well, you should know. Tried to get the black in play, and I think it was a very fair shot to try and play. And, and while the sort of points are running out a little bit, he can still win the frame. And certainly with the black on, he's not out of it. But it's just not going to be at this visit again. Uh, what's the most worthwhile shot that he can play here? Is the question. I don't think he wants the brown to stay where it is, so he might as well try and move it in safety if he can. It's not helpful. Green to brown is virtually impossible where they are if he is going to clear. Is he going for this blue? Goodness, this is really difficult. Oh, goodness me, that's a ridiculous shot. That is a ridiculously good shot. Had he missed it, it would certainly have been... Six. Five, three, you would have thought. What a shot this is. Reminiscent of what we saw at the World Championship last year. Absolutely brilliant, fearless, long potting. We saw Sam Craigie knocking a blue, queuing awkwardly into the same pocket from the spot last night and both of those two shots were as good as you'll ever see and he's really playing well again now and i don't know what, what he's going to do about the, the green and the brown here because they're going to cause him a big problem at some point 15. there's no way around this unless he if you can pop this and get on the, the last red and then screw back to get on either pink or green. And unless he does something like that, I'm not sure how he can clear. It will take some shots to get green, brown, blue. One to two. thinking about maybe playing the snooker later on but it's not really how he, he tends to think snooker on the greens a possibility but I'm sure he'd like to just clear them up now 30 it's almost like he just thought about the problem that's facing him just to get this frame of match one here No, it doesn't look to be any good. 
there was there was not a lot of room to manoeuvre there. It's finished in probably the worst place because he couldn't even play the snooker if he wanted to from there. Really get into the cue ball either way. Oh goodness me, what is sort of shot is that? He's tried to get the snooker in a strange way. He's not done it. Anyway, the only other thing to say is that Kyron still needs the brown. Kyron Wilson back at the table, hanging on to his dreams of a second German Masters title by his fingertips at the moment. Two balls away from extending the semi-final. Not very nice, as far as Kyron's next shot is concerned, anyway. Got to avoid the double kiss again here. There's two or three other ways he could get the double kiss. And that's one of them. It was on again. And he seems to just ignore the fact that it's on. He's done it twice now. And you need a lot of luck you lose control of where the balls are going to finish. Anyway, it didn't really penalise him that much. Quite a snooker, I don't think. Can just about get through to the edge of the green. <laughs> Getting on for the longest frame of the semi final now at nearly 24 minutes. Or will it be the final frame of the semi final? Yeah, I mean, the thing is. Clearly, Kyron has got the advantage with his 17 in front, but he does need both of the two difficult parts of the green because there's, there's still a safety battle, but then he'll need the brown as well. So there's not a huge advantage he's got. Yeah. 
if Sinunmi was a long way in front at one point. Made a break of 49 at the start of the frame, which was quite hard work. Looks pretty good. He's certainly been able to mix it today when safety has been in play. In fact, he's well ahead of Kyron Wilson in that regard. Playing the swerve, he can't be sure of anything here. Oh. Problem on that shot, unless you catch it full on. And it's not an easy shot, green to brown. But uh, CJOE sometimes makes the not so easy shot look exactly that. Through the green and then go across for the brown. Tough. You know, just got to prove he can get over the line in such a big match. We know all about the World Championship semi final and the fact that he didn't win it when he should have. I don't think there's a problem. I think he will if the chance comes. Get this match won. about that he's not even going for that not really achieved a great deal in refusing it though I don't know why he didn't consider potting it and playing first safety shot on the brown it wasn't a particularly effective shot that he played this to run which it just about has yeah I always felt it would just go past the middle pocket I think you want the cue ball a bit further across <laughs> to land him behind the pink Miss it to miss it on the thin side is absolutely fine. Not got the snooker, not entirely. It's a little swerve anyway, and it's very easy access to the green ball. Cushion first. Now that pink going quite a way away from the black. This certainly has not done him any harm, Kyron Wilson. Makes any possible clearance that a little bit more difficult. You will have to travel a lot further. This is now, by a distance, the longest frame of the semi final. And still up for grabs, a little shake of the head from C. He's tantalizingly close to his first ranking final appearance. <laughs> 
20th shot on the green. 10 minutes we've been on this ball alone. Now then, where's this ending up? Right over the hole. Kyron Wilson does need the brown as well. A pained expression from Cijai Wee. Yeah, he does need the brown, you're right, and that's the problem he's got. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean he's going to win the frame here unless he can pop the brown straight after it. He's a very good rest player, as we always speak about. That suggests that he might win the frame if he can pop this. I expect he will. Can he possibly get to it? An extension on his cue? He surely will need the rest. Tricky one, this. He's missable. He can hit it to the first jaw, leave it over the pocket. I'm not saying he will, but he, it's very possible he could. Seems like a long time ago that Wilson made his first substance since he led 2-0. He lost five in a row, but this to make it 5-3. And he's played it well. He gave it every chance, just dropped it in. And, of course, had he missed it, he was bound to be leaving it, but he's got it. And his fans are delighted about that. So, 24 in front with 18 left. Two snookers for Cijai Wheat. Seven. That's what he could do. He could pop the uh, the blue and leave him one snooker on the pink and black. A more likely outcome. You know, the black where it's placed is not great for getting snookers. come along you might think about that because it's still two as Philip said Good effort this. This is very good. Oh, that's a terrific snooker. It really is. Well, as you say, his run to the Crucible semis and very nearly the final was mainly about the blazing potting and break building, but we've seen another side to see Jaiwe's game and Karen Wilson, who's in all kinds of trouble, nevertheless acknowledging the quality of that snooker. of room around this blue so this is very missable oh. very good effort but there's no miss we call because it was at the snooker's required stage I thought he played that quite well without hitting it One snooker required. See, Shai Wee wants this match finished here and now. Well, it may be a snooker, but you would like to think that Karen will hit it off one cushion.
very difficult there. Those shots, the better the cloth so quick, you can easily slip past the, the target ball in behind the black as he tried. Wilson showing CJ we had to get one. And of course, it's not he that leads the snooker. I think the lion's share of this crowd want this match to go on beyond this frame. Well, that's one way of getting out of the snooker, but of course, he's now only got one ball to work with in terms of getting the snooker he needs. Karen Wilson affording himself a smile. Yeah, and of course, with the black away from cushion or it's sort of somewhere in towards the middle of the table it's not so easy to get behind them from here you can imagine all the good efforts you would make where you just would slip past the angle five. again so now of course Karen can put the pink in or over the pocket that's the other thing that uh, makes it very difficult on the pink and black to get snookers don't get one early you probably don't get a second chance This frame has lasted three times as long as the average frame time for this match. But, of course, things are getting very serious now. See, so close to victory. Karen Wilson looking to keep his hopes alive. Very, very difficult, as Neil says, with the black where it is to get a telling snooker. I recall when Jimmy White did it to Cliff Thorburn in the classic final back in 86. The black was out in the open. He played a brilliant snooker. Cliff missed it, and White potted pink and black to win the final in the decider. But surely we are going to go to another frame. like it isn't it I mean it's hard to think um, what you do here uh, one thing to uh, put distance between the two balls I think you can get a snooker is uh, hard to envisage really now Kyron surely just drop this in or over the right corner he needed to win a frame it didn't matter how he won it and it's not been a spectacular one It hasn't, nearly 38 minutes in length, but finally, Kyron Wilson stops the rot and keeps his hopes alive. He's still got much to do, but the five-frame winning burst from Si Wee has ended. He's still one elusive frame away from victory. Two up with three to play, Kyron Wilson has hope again, with Si Wee leading by five frames to three. Ahead of frame number nine of a possible 11, can Kyron Wilson prolong this to at least one more in his bid to win four in a row from 5-2 behind to get back to the final. Of course, he was champion in this tournament. Back in 2019 when he beat Dave Gilbert 9-7. He was behind in the final session of that one. See Jai Wee battled for all he was worth. He got one of the two snookers he needed. But we go again, frame nine.
terrific pop. Cube will not going anywhere that uh, is particularly ha handy for him. He'll take this on though to the middle. This is a. Well, these are clearly missable from there. Well, he really fancied it. He didn't even hesitate to play it. It's a terrific shot. Really good shot. And as I say, oh. a shot that could comfortably be missed. Five. Well, he's not happy at all. He's not on anything, I don't believe. I'd be annoyed by that because chance is not coming all the time, and that's a dreadful shot. That is a dreadful shot as he left the Harry red. Wilson, ten. CGOE was out of his chair quickly. He's followed up a bad positional shot with an even worse shot, actually, on the safety. Can he get through, though, is the question. He's a bit lucky, if not, Kyron Wilson. Quite a big target ball now on safety, where the blue and the green are. Somewhere in behind there, the thin contact here would be a nice place to land. What that previous frame has done has just interrupted the rhythm that Sijia we have built up in irresistible fashion with those three very quick frames after the interval from two each. Still got to win the most important frame of all, the one that carries him to his first ranking final. And he knows that Karen Wilson is going to make it anything but straightforward for him. But he's found a red. out a plant yeah and uh, that's got him in early in the frame isn't it just off straight this push through down for a red and now with the black safe I have noticed a lot that he's very good at making breaks
necessarily with the highest value colour in play. You can Three. improvise, but the blue's also very awkward already. So he hasn't even got that ball to fall back on. It's only the pink. So this has to be a very good break around the pink spot. Just looking if the pink spot is indeed free, or will it go up onto the highest available, the blue? I think that's the case. Obviously now the red that's on the pink spot is going to be potted, so next time it will be back on his own. An important positional shot to play here. Now the pink will go back on the spot. He's got to make sure he goes low enough. Low behind the red. <coughs> yeah, that's fine. So he's only got one colour to play on here. 17. That's the difficulty. Eighteen. Could have done with being a touch straighter on the, his next ball. If he was right behind the pink, it would be so easy to play position, but he's just slightly going away from the reds, the angle he has on this. Seems to have discovered that there is a red that pots there. One to four. And while it's not that damaging at this stage, three or four more red colours will be for Kyron. Oh, he was very, very lucky there. Wow, what a result that was. He's actually brought both reds into play. This was an out-and-out -out fluke. Crowd, I don't think, saw it. Not all of them. incredible this sport isn't it so much of it is about precision and extraordinary skill but luck certainly plays its part and it did the uh... yeah I mean the red just flew in didn't it almost as if, as if he meant it which clearly never in a million years was that the case yeah he held his hand up straight away but he'll be secretly delighted because it's taken him that little step further towards his goal Yeah, he's occupying the table, he's chipping away at points. Now, whether he can actually get the match one here or not, he's starting to put a bit of distance between himself and Kyron in the frame. I think he can just about reach this with his opposite hand. I don't think too sloppy. Might be a good idea to get the long tackle out here. If you're really stretching too much, that is. Well, he doesn't look remotely comfortable, does he? Yep. Time to move on. <laughs> Not perfectly on this pink, not really. Because he's got to hit it with a bit of pace to allow himself position on the next red, which means the pot itself becomes missable.
So the pink goes astray, more encouraging cries for Kyron Wilson. Didn't get close to that one, really. <coughs> 29, the deficit. Still bags of points there, but as it's been throughout this frame, the black's around it at the moment. So not easy to make a break. Blue and pink also off their spots. Not an easy table. No pot attempted there. And if he's a 29 point lead, it's quite a handy lead still. Yep. Going back a few shots, CJ, we chose to play that little nudge on the two reds in the bottom left corner. <coughs> when he couldn't reach it, and he got the long stuff out, didn't get on the pink. Gradually, things ground to a halt as far as that break was concerned. Kind of kept Kyron Wilson in the match. Black now in play. Do him for now. <coughs> Series of very thin safety shots here by both players. Just pushing these red spread and further across from right to left. I think that's impossible plant there, those two reds. At the top. I think you'd have to hit the first one on fairly thick contact onto the second one to make it into a plant. But yeah. Bad shot. You could have done with that cue ball. Well, I was going to say going in to the left middle there, but it depends greatly on whether this red passes the black. Curran might have been quite lucky there. Half a pocket. <coughs> I mean, it will pop, obviously, but uh, you know, the chance is the key will just hit the red and the red will clatter into the black. But it certainly goes. Let's see. Tough shot into a full pocket, never mind half a pocket. Brilliant. That is very, very well played. We only had left side to go at. Is that the key shot? There's still some awkward reds to negotiate. There was a real illustration, though, of the accuracy these players were able to attain. I mean, he could only put it off the left jaw. 
And that's exactly how we did do. And, uh, we would have not looked very good had he went into the black. He's annoyed because he's slightly out of position in terms of staying on the black here. Nine. He's got the pink. Yeah, but I don't know what he did play there. I mean, if he could have been high on the black, yes, it would have been fine to open the reds, but he's not on the cushion. He's basically just going to take the points here, it seems, which is fine. It'll come in handy. Might also be a thought about putting a ball safe instead of taking the pot room. Because at the moment, no colours are safe. 38 the lead with 59 left. He's going to take the six points, it would seem. No, I think no he's, he's not. No, I think he's. Uh, I, I, I never understand why players do that and don't actually guarantee that the ball does go safe. Now, there's nothing wrong with the shot because he's got the snooker, but it's an easy roll up, I think. But if you're going to solely try and get the ball in the cushion, I think you've got to get absolutely nailed to the cushion. It's not really completely safe where it is. Seven. That was not very good. I mean, the problem is, he can't keep hitting the black off these. He's run out of points if he does. Yeah, Sija Wee is now potentially a red and a colour away from victory, barring snookers now. Basically, what he's doing, he's saying that uh, he's not sure. Okay, so third of the ball. Could see, so in other words, you're not looking for any advantage. Tatiana Wollaston is uh, the marker. There she is. Yeah, looks good now. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> He's got it safe, but I would say that Joey has got a shot here to go around the angles in behind green and blue. It's a good shot once again. He's, he's bossing the frame. I mean, there's no doubt about that. 25 points means he's very close to falling over the line. And if he is to win, just think of that burst of frames, five in a row, but especially from two all. You really turn the heat on after the mid-session interval. Forty-five, the lead with fifty-nine left. Well, he decided to do very little with that shot. And the red up the table was going to be an awkward pot anyway. Taking zero risk. I suppose he's thinking, well, I'm 45 in front. Over to you, Kyron, to turn this situation around.
Be back. Mm. <laughs> well, that's a very optimistic uh, question to ask. <laughs> 45 points in it. Very good from Karin. I like that. The re rack that is not happening ever. <coughs> Well, he hasn't lost his sense of humour and he's not lost the match yet. See, Shai Wee is so close to that finally can taste it, but he's still just a few points away from making it happen, as he was in the previous frame, which Kyron eventually won. When C ran out of balls to snooker in behind. It's not a great table at the moment for a counter attack from Wilson, but that can change quickly. <coughs> Bit of a waiting game for Kyron Wilson to see if he can engineer a possibility to get back into this frame whilst ensuring that he doesn't give his opponent the chance to get the handful of pots he needs to secure victory. I mean, the three reds, it's a very awkward situation because CGOE is not going to want to move them and Kyron can't afford to move them and leave one on. So, a precarious state this match is in. But he might have a little good dart at this one. It's not a straightforward angle, but he might just think that if he can pop red black here, then he's almost there. If it was straighter, I'm certain he'd go for it and I reckon he'd get it. can afford to take it on not at pace because the red could rattle and go along the cushion and move the three reds out but red black means Kyron Wilson needs a snooker a little surprised he never went for it but you know we, I think we ask of young players to you know, become someone that learns the game and not just be potters and he certainly wants to go further with his game refusing shots every now and then then he's had a good shot well, desperately doesn't want to, have to roll up because that's no use to him this is what he's looking for a way to get to the three reds. <coughs> well, it was a big target, but it was a very hard shot to get the balls open there. So, Five. bottom line is. 40 the difference still a warm favorite CJ Wee, and he has refused a couple of long balls which might have already won him the match Karen Wilson five
its applause, but I think Cijar Wee can get through to the potting angle, and I think Karen Wilson knows it. 40 in front. There'll only be 43 left if he can pot this yet. He was right to be worried. There's the cue ball. Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, that helps. I think any colour is really what he wanted, but now that uh, that's not really going to happen, I suppose he could, he could roll the green onto the side cushion and snooker behind the blue or something like that. The snooker would be one that had to get hit. Yeah, I can't fault oh, that shot. And this time he's nailed it to the cushion. Advantage, and a big advantage, CGOE. He's basically got one foot in the final. Because Karen's got to hit this. And in the process, not develop the red so that so he can pot one. Absolutely on the cusp now. See Jai Wee of his first ranking final. Yeah. And you know, you, you think of the disappointment he felt at Sheffield. He was nine frames up against Luca Bussell, which has never been overcome in all the Chris Weir history, all that almanac we see. Nothing like that's ever been achieved before. That's a terrific shot. Brilliant. He's not in the final here yet either. Because that shot has just about kept Kyron Wilson in with a hunt. Typical Wilson really giving it everything. In a bid to keep his at the moment very faint hopes alive. But he's gonna make CJ We earn this just as he did in the previous frame. But it would be a big Rubicon to cross, wouldn't it, for CJ Wee, as you say. A heartbreaking loss from such a position of strength. Not only nine in front, but within three of victory. And he couldn't quite do it, and uh, he's going to need his fishing rod for this one, I think. Well, I mean, I don't know what, if there's any equipment long enough to... Uh, you, you're literally one end of the table to the other. You have to put an extension on the extension, I think. You are loving it. This is as far across you'd have to ever reach a ball, I think. I'm playing in great spirit. I know that's a, a bit of a cliche, but Karen has been, even in this situation where he's on the brink of losing, he's been having a few laughs and jokes. He's, he's done himself proud, actually, but he mightn't be in the tournament much longer if you're not careful. So that's handy as well for, for CGI Wee, the red going on top of the black. All of these things are in his favour. Yes, but of course CGI Wee lost in that match we're speaking about earlier and the Crucible, but you know, they say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. He might end up a better player. He's not had a particularly good season. But the talent is overwhelmingly there. Um, surely this is not going to go in off. That's not... I was going to say, I don't think Kyron would have deserved that. Hopefully he hasn't quite ended that way. Had it done so, of course. <laughs> Great expression. He would have needed a snooker to stay in the semi-final. As it is, he's clinging on, just. A very good shot, but it's quite interesting where the balls have ended up because we had a half an hour frame on the back of a, a long previous frame, but now if you're gonna pop this red, where's the color? Without a color, he can't win. A good shot here to get on the black. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. That is brilliant. 
He's showing a lot of metal here, isn't he, Karen Wilson, which is not unusual for him at all, but from the absolute precipice of defeat, he's just about keeping his hopes alive here with some gutsy play. Look at the table now, and of course it's just the green ball, isn't it? That's the only obstacle, Eight. really. Which see Jai Wee push safe just now in snookering Wilson, and at that stage he looked red-hot favourite to clinch the match in this frame. But if he were now to lose this frame, well, then we've got a match again. He's going to have to take the pin. Oh, is that it? That's no good. It's no good to him. You can only take the blue, which means you could only tie the frame in this. Well, maths have gone a bit haywire. Yeah, that was a bad shot. Well, the shot he played, not getting on the Mine. pink, was a poor one. And that one was even worse. I don't know if he tried to knock the green out. He got a little bit scrambled there at the end. I think this miss blew partly the result of realising that he was going to need a snooker, even if it had gone in. Now he needs two of them. Yeah, I mean, he could have tied with the blue going in, but that in itself was a sort of a... almost a defeat wasn't it for him because he couldn't have won it without an extra ball and he missed the blue anyway but as I said earlier you know the middle frames of this match CGOE was quite devastating at times undoubtedly the best burst of snooker he's produced since his crucible heroics from two all to five two and now absolutely on the cusp of victory it's felt as though he has been for a while now Karen Wilson has given it everything in a bid to hang on in there but missing the blue just now seems to have sealed his fate 34 behind, 25 remaining, so it's three four-point snookers from here for Karen Wilson. Yeah, these are the kind of balls he knocks in all the time when he's playing well. See Jehoi, two. He'll keep battling away for as long as he can, and it's definitely been a week for Karen Wilson after what has been a difficult season for him. His first semi-final of the campaign, but of course, having got this far and having played as well as he has to get this far, he would have hoped for much more. But he's run into an absolutely back-to-top form C.J. Wee this afternoon from 2-0 behind. He played quite superbly to win five in a row, and that's what's really broken the back of this match. The last couple of frames have been a real battle, but surely he's done enough now to get the win. One more pot to absolutely seal it. and to break new ground. Well, that, that is going to be that. And uh, unsurprisingly, the feature of this victory is CGOE's long game, which has been outstanding, as is the case with Judd Trump and Sam Craigie in the other semi-final. They're both great long potters, so the final's going to be some spectacle, isn't it? Whoever comes through this evening.
Tyron Wilson's going to battle on for what it's worth. It's looking pretty forlorn now, though. 37 behind. Four snookers required. wasn't part of the plan. Well, he can get in behind the pink here, potentially. Yeah, but the, there's always a question of the blue going up the table on that shot. Kyron Wilson, four. Because uh, you've got to hit it so hard. I don't think he's getting anywhere with any of this. Safely just roll this over the pocket now. I mean, there's, there's there are times when you your opponent needs a snooker, you would not roll the ball over the hole. But this is not one of those. He's not rolling it, but he could have done. Been happy to see Karen pop the blue. Effectively, this match feels completely over. Three snookers to tie. I just don't foresee any of that happening. But I suppose it will never happen if you don't try and make it happen. Pink's not in the worst place to forgetting snookers, but uh, he's left it on, so this could easily be it now. Yeah, I think there'll be a handshake for sure if this blue goes in. What an afternoon for C. Jaoui. And a giant roar from the crowd. They know the game's up this time. <laughs> Very nearly. Karen Wilson offers his hand a special moment in the career of Xi Jiawei, who reaches his first ranking tournament final to bury the disappointment of what happened in the Crucible semi final last season. He has comprehensively outplayed Karen Wilson from 2-0 behind to win 6-3. And what a performance.